Chemistry lecture number 96, pH and pOH. In addition to pH, there's also pOH. Mathematically, pOH is equal to the negative log of the concentration of hydroxide. What is the pOH of a solution that contains 8.7 times 10 to the negative third molar hydroxide? So our formula is pOH equals negative log concentration of hydroxide. Concentration of hydroxide is given as 8.7 times 10 to the negative third, so we'll put that in place here and we get this. If we uh, take the log of this number, uh, we'll end up with negative 2.06. Anytime you take the log of 10 to the negative power, you're going to get a negative number. But anyway, log of this number is negative 2.06, and then a negative times a negative is a positive, and you end up with 2.06. So when the concentration of hydroxide is 8.7 times 10 to the negative third, the pOH is 2.06. The pOH 2.06 is given with two places past the decimal since 8.7 times 10 to the negative third has two significant figures. So the 8 and the 7, those are two significant figures here, and we're two places past the decimal in the pOH. That's how you do it. If a solution is described as a strong base or a strong acid, we can assume 100% ionization. Uh, the concentration of the acid is also the concentration of uh, H+, plus, and the concentration of the base is the concentration of hydroxide. So let's try some problems. Find the pH of 0 0.050 molar HCl, a strong acid. Well, since this is a strong acid, we assume that 0 0.050 molar HCl means that it's 0 0.050 molar H+. Plus. So, strong acid, concentration of the acid is the concentration of the hydrogen ion. So our formula, pH is equal to negative log of H plus. Concentration of H plus is 0.05, since the concentration of the acid is 0.05. We'll put that here. Log of this number times negative 1 is going to give you 1.30. Let's do a strong base. Find the pOH of a 0 0.030 molar NaOH, a strong base. Now, since this is a strong base, we assume that 0 0.030 molar sodium hydroxide means 0 0.030 molar hydroxide. All right. So there's the concentration of the base. Concentration of the base is the same as the concentration of the hydroxide if it's a strong base. All right. Well, pOH is negative log concentration of hydroxide. Concentration of hydroxide is 0 0.03 because that's also the concentration of the base. And then we take the uh, negative log of this number and we end up with 1.52. Let's try another strong base problem. Uh, find the pOH of a 7.5 times 10 to the negative fourth molar solution of calcium hydroxide, a strong base. Now notice that calcium hydroxide contains two hydroxide groups. See the two in subscripts outside the OH, so that means there are two hydroxides attached to the calcium. So one formula unit of calcium hydroxide will ionize to produce two hydroxides. So one of these ionizes to produce two hydroxides. So to find the concentration of hydroxide, you have to multiply the concentration of calcium hydroxide by two. For every one of these, you'll get two of these. So the concentration of this times two will give you the concentration of uh, hydroxide. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, so this is the concentration of the calcium hydroxide right here. We multiply it times 2 and we'll get 0 0.00015 molar of hydroxide. So now that we know the concentration of hydroxide, uh, we just put it in the formula. pOH is negative log of hydroxide. Concentration of hydroxide is 0 0.00015 and the negative log of this number is 2.82. If the pH and pOH of a solution is added together, the sum will be 14.00. So here's a little formula that's pretty easy to remember. pH plus pOH equals 14. So we can use this formula to uh, help solve uh, more types of problems. Here's one. The hydroxide ion concentration of an ammonia solution is 4 times 10 to the negative third molar. Find the pH. So what we're going to do is this is the concentration of OH. Remember hydroxide ion is OH with a negative uh, charge? So that's this. So since we have the concentration of hydroxide, uh, we can use this to find the pOH. So we'll do that. 
POH is negative log of the concentration of hydroxide. There's the concentration of hydroxide. We'll just put it into the POH formula. And if you solve for the negative log of 4 times 10 to the negative third, you get 2.40. So from the concentration of hydroxide, we get the POH. Using the POH, we can find the pH. pH plus POH equals 14. pH plus 2.4 which is what we got right here, is 14. And then 14 minus 2.4 is 11.60. So that's one way to find the pH if they give you the concentration of hydroxide. Let's try one more problem. The, uh, the next problem is going to do the opposite. Um, in this problem, they gave us the concentration, and we're trying to find a pH. Uh, in the next one, they're going to give us either the pH or the pOH, and we have to find the concentration of something. The pOH of a solution is 5.42. Find the concentration of hydrogen ion. All right, so pOH is 5.42, so we can use this to find the pH. And then after we find the pH, we can find the concentration of hydrogen ion. So pH plus pOH is 14. pOH is 5.42. So pH plus 5.42 is 14. If we solve for the pH, 14 minus 5.42, we'll get 8.58. So we have the pH of the solution. Now with the pH we're going to find the concentration of hydrogen ion. Uh, one way to do it is to say pH is equal to the negative log of H plus. The pH we solved for was 8.58. All right. And then you multiply both sides by negative 1 times negative 1 times negative 1 and you'll get negative 8.58 and positive here. And then anytime you have, you know, the log of an unknown equals, you know, some number, uh, the way you solve for the unknown is the unknown uh, is going to be equal to 10 raised to that number. All right. So if you rearrange this, um, this would be concentration. Oh, yeah, well, it's down right here. Um, in case you want to see it, <laughs> log of H plus equals negative 8.58. That's just flipping it around. And then to solve for H, H is just going to be 10 raised to the negative 8.58 power, which is what we have here. So if you solve for this, 10 raised to the negative 8.58 power, you'll get concentration of uh, hydrogen ion is 2.6 times 10 to the negative ninth molar. Right. And there are other ways you can uh, solve these types of problems. I mean, you could use the KW uh, formula to uh, solve these different types of uh, problems that involve both pH and pOH. But as long as you follow the rules of math, uh, I think you're okay whatever method you decide to use. For a PDF transcript of this lecture, go to www.richardlouis.com. This has been chemistry lecture number 96, pH and pOH.